usually try and pull the end that's not open off first. We used hoop net traps today, 15 hoop nets, which are baited with some type of dead or rotting animal. And those nets can be used to catch fish or turtles. We are here at the Glendo Wetlands with below Glendo Dam. And we are trapping turtles as part of a class with Casper College Ollie program to teach them more about reptiles and amphibians and what herpetologists do. We place the traps targeting different species. So for a softshell turtle, they tend to like sandy bottoms or mucky bottoms, so we place the traps in those areas. Or next to logs or rocks that turtles might be basking on, that might be good for any painted or softshell turtle. There's at least six. We caught two species of turtles today, the painted turtle and the western spiny softshell turtle. Both of these are native to Wyoming and they are commonly found in this area, so we thought they would be here. We are interested in where the turtles are distributed across Wyoming. Most turtles in Wyoming only live in the eastern half of the state, but we don't have exact locations for many species. We do know that they're already in this area, so this was more of a demonstration today but we might be doing a marker capture study beginning next year to kind of get a population estimate. Where's the ring? Eight, oh. right here. My project is funded through a state wildlife grant. I'm a contract biologist through Game of Fish, and that is funded partially through the federal government and partially through the state. You cannot take a turtle out of a shell. Like in cartoons, that's not real. <laughs> <laughs> the students were very, very fun and they seemed pretty excited about everything that we caught. So I like to work with people who are very excited. I like to get them excited and get them outside and see some turtles, hold some turtles. Western spiny soft shell. They really enjoy it. I love stuff like this, so it's pleasure. <laughs> the more informed the public is, the more likely they are to act in responsible ways. So we went over why it's not a good idea to release pet turtles into the wild during the class. And everyone was really interested in that. I think they took home quite a bit of information that they can pass on. They just have different spotting. I think and most of the community doesn't ever get a chance to do anything like this. So this is really exciting for them to get to see what our job is, what we do on a daily basis. Mm -hmm.